Hi, Cancer. Um, welcome to your month ahead predictions. This is going to be looking at the month of March 2024. Um, so the way I'm going to be doing this is we're going to be taking a look more specifically at how the energies of like luck, abundance, expansion are going to be like what areas of life or what situations they're going to be um, showing up to support you in the month of March. Um, so like what little what little energies in your life or areas of your life are getting a little bit of an extra boost in the month of March. So with that, let's get into it. Is this one? I love when that happens. When it's real quick. Magic, magic is real. Um, I have a tattoo that says that. Um, but yeah, so I love that. We have 31. This reduces to a four. Some of you are trying to manifest a home. Um, some of you, you're trying to manifest something. It's making me think of like the fourth house and, and you know, which is Cancer's natural house. Um, but it, some of you are trying to manifest something that would, you know, it's about our emotional foundations, our family, our roots, that would make you feel very, very happy and emotionally fulfilled um, and resonate with that area of your life. So yeah, let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling you're trying to manifest something. Alchemy, you're, you're trying to manifest something. Some of you, you're finally, um, there's, I'm hearing burying the hatchet. There's a dispute within the family, within the home, about a home, potentially, where uh, you're finally, that you're reaching a compromise, right? You and a partner could have differences in how you think a home or a family should kind of operate. And you guys are finally coming on, like, cut, like uh, getting on board with each other's um, philosophies and enough to be able to find like a compromise, a middle ground. So it says the frequency of alchemy activates our magical, <laughs> there's that word, our magical ability and remembrance of the magic that we all hold inside. Magic is real. <laughs> um, I love that. Each one of us has the potential to access the ancient knowledge that allowed the true alchemist to perform the miracles of transmutation. So again, something is finally being transmuted, right? We've had the word magic show up multiple times. Um, I always love, you know, it makes me think of Halloween Town where they always say magic is wanting something and letting yourself have it. And it's a very simple concept that's often very complicated to execute, right? Um, sometimes we don't know what we want or we think we know what we think we want one thing, but we really want something else or... Um, you know, sometimes the blockages and letting ourselves have it and dealing with the fears that get in the way, the, the programs, the beliefs. So there's been a lot of work behind the scenes to transmute some type of energy that has blocked the magic prior. <laughs> now I'm thinking about Arrested Development. Hello, yes, I'm looking for the magic. <laughs> I love that so much. Uh, I always say that when people ask for like pictures or tours of my altar, I'm like, oh, that's a little bit more private for me. Um, but that's all I can think of. It's like, oh, yes, I'm looking for the magic. Um, and so this is something that's going to be taking place this month. This feels like this is, you're seeing, you're seeing things come out of this. This is not just in the energetic realm. You are like seeing the fruits of your labor. Your efforts are, are being rewarded, um, through progress, through tangible progress. So let's pull a chakra card and get some more details. Jesus, I see you. Some of you are getting clarity on what you want out of a home or living situation. So, for example, if you've been trying to decide if you would like to, like, have your own family someday, you're having insight about that. Um, if you have been trying to figure out what to do about a family relationship, you're, like, you're finally kind of getting to a point of clarity about how to handle something. Four of four on the timer. Yep, the bottom we have nurturing. So this is the Earth Star Chakra. It's about feeling very deeply grounded, but because it's number three and we have this mama baby lion image this has a lot to do with family energy this could have to do with um, a mother figure or maternal lineage energy here yeah divine wisdom interesting we had the earth star chakra at the bottom we have the soul star chakra at the top that's the eighth chakra um this is card 36 that reduces to a nine some of you, uh, I'm getting this is very specific. You've been tapping into your Akashic records while you sleep. So when you're when you're in the astral realm, you've been tapping in. There's something where you've been getting assistance. You've been um, getting some almost support or counseling in the astral realm while you sleep about how to how to best carry out 
your soul plans. Um, I feel in multiple areas, but whatever is being spoken of today is just one of them. Um, so I want to kind of clarify a little bit about what is going on. So what is being, what is being alchemized here? Spirit, you show me what is being alchemized, what energy is being alchemized. The star, yeah, there's healing, there's understanding. It's like, I finally, we see each other clearly and that's like, we're on the same page finally. You know, we want the same thing. That's uh, another number eight showing up. Um, so again, eight is a number of manifestation and abundance, and we like that. Um, the magician, talk about manifestation. All right, magic is real, baby. Magic is real. The devil, yeah. So Gemini, Virgo, and then Capricorn, any of those signs may also apply to some, you know, anybody else involved in this. And then Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm going to look at this other card in a minute. Um... This feels like you you and other people involved have been at an impasse for a while. And the reason why here is with the devil, this is the blockage, right? Magic is wanting something and letting yourself have it. This is the blockage. The blockage may have been a communication issue. A blockage may have been a difference in beliefs. Um, the blockage may have also been a difference in timing. Sometimes the Knight of Swords can be... He's the fastest knight in the deck. He can be in a little bit of a rush to the point where uh, he can end up making mistakes. Um, especially with the Capricorn energy of the devil, that is, that is you know, anything but. Um, pardon my itchy nose, right? Uh, Capricorn's energy is very much, you know, all about the long haul, the long term. I've got a long term vision and a plan and I'm going to keep slugging away at it. Like, I'm going to get to where I want to go. Um... Like I said, there may have been communication problems. You might, uh, there may have been an issue of um, individuals not speaking to each other, whether it's you and somebody else, or like let's say it's two of your family members, and you've been trying to resolve that. Um, you've been trying to help with that. You know, for me, the Knight of Swords. I have a complex relationship with the Knight of Swords because you know he's funny, he's witty, he's very, he's very smart, um, and he knows it, which you know. I like that sometimes. Sometimes it's a pain in my ass. Um, but the issue with the Knight of Swords is that he's been through some heartbreak. And as a result, he kind of thinks that he, like, knows everything, right? Um, and he thinks that life is sort of, like, handed him, like, you know, dealt him every difficult thing. It can. It's like, all right, I've, I've been hurt. I'm now impervious to being hurt. Um and sometimes that creates blind spots, right? Because the Knight of Swords is like, I've seen everything. I know how to deal with everything. Um, and struggles to kind of, you know, move beyond their own blind spots as a result. And so it's very hard. The Knight of Swords can be very stubborn sometimes. It's very hard to get them to see anybody else's point of view. And so this might be sort of the energy that was kind of playing out in this situation. That may have been the blockage is you know, two people who both believe that they're right. This even could be two people who are angry at each other and or, you know, fighting with one another. And it's like, well, you hurt me. Well, you hurt me too. Um, what is this Knight of Swords in reverse? So this is the blockage. <laughs> I'm not going to take this money because there's a bunch, but Judgment was just poking its little head out. Um, this could be uh, some type of blockage around what the, you know, Judgment is a turning point kind of energy. So like um, some kind of blockage around what the appropriate next chapter should be or how it should look. Yeah, the Six of Cups. This is somebody, this is like either somebody that you've known for a long time. These are, you know, family members. This this is soulmate energy, past life energy, also with that judgment. So whoever, you know, because again, I feel for most of you, this is either you and somebody else or it's like two people you're very, very close with and you're trying to kind of like help mediate any conflict there's there's a lot of soul ties here and so it feels like this is a month where that is being transmuted um yeah the nine of swords and the five of pentacles coming out to clarify the um knight of swords so what this blockage may be is that there may have been two people who are on different pages about financial issues um so let's say it's like two people who you know it's a couple one person wants to get married sooner the other person wants to wait till they're you know at a certain level financially there may have been fights about commitment um one person could have been very anxious about being abandoned 
um, and the other person might have a predilection to uh, kind of like need their freedom and independence and that like I don't want to say full-blown anxious avoidant dynamic but that that like that dynamic may have been kind of like playing out in this situation <clears throat> There may have been a fear around being abandoned and that's kept people from speaking their truth. But this is what's being worked through. And I'm gonna flip that other card to get more. Yeah, exactly. Communication with the Eight of Wands. Communication, things are finally moving forward. I feel two people are hashing something out. And that's where the magic is. Oh, okay. The Four of Cups. It's so interesting that in this version, like, we have the, the, it usually shows a guy leaning against the tree, there's three cups in front of him, and a fourth one is being offered here. We have one in front of him, and it's full. We have two up here, and one is full, the other one's empty, and then one full one being offered. <coughs> Excuse me. So realistically, there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of, you know, full cups. The only one that's empty is kind of hanging up in the tree and like no longer really, you know, up for grabs or an issue. It feels like there's been some loss here. There's been some kind of, you know, emptying out of the cup because that's our emotions. Um, and that's created this feeling of rejection or somebody here has suffered rejection in the past and thus is very reserved now. And this is why I feel communication is coming in and going to play a key role in this transmutation energy is because somebody's able to, two people are able to speak a lot more clearly with one another. Um, and again, this is either like you and somebody else or um, you're watching this play out between two people that you're very involved with, that you care a lot about. These even could be like two people in your friend group. I am picking up like heavy kind of like couple family energy. Um, but these even could be like, you know, two people in your friend group and it's like, I love you all equally. I want everybody to get along. I want us to be one big happy family, damn it. Um, yeah. And for some of you, you know, like, let's say if you were trying to, um, you're trying to manifest like a home or something, it might be where there is a resolution within like your family. And then you also notice that like, Things are moving forward with your attempt to get a home because everything is energy and everything is interconnected, right? So it's like by one area of your life resolving and improving, your manifestation moves forward. Um, but I do feel like this blockage around holding back um, emotionally, not really participating, not truly emotionally believing, again, wanting something and letting yourself have it. Either not letting themselves truly want something, truly let themselves desire something, or not truly believing that they're allowed to have it, right? That this cup is being offered for them. So somebody might be finally kind of like stepping off the sidelines and getting involved in an emotional way and wanting to move things forward with communication. So I do see that that's that, that alchemy energy. What is this divine wisdom? I feel like, again, it's because there's insights that are coming in. <clears throat> um, there is divine wisdom. There are, you know, Akashic records that are being accessed. Um, yeah, what do we have here? The four of pentacles at the bottom. This is an order to help end a stalemate and a stonewalling. So it could be two people not speaking quite literally. The seven of cups. Yeah, there's a lot of different ways. Again, we were talking about this before. A lot of different ways that this, this could play out. A lot of different ways to fulfill the soul plan and the soul contract. Strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. The ace of cups reversed. Okay. The Page of Wands. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, heavy Leo energy. This is what it feels like. It feels like at the soul, um, you and whoever else is involved in this situation, it's time for the energy to move forward. It is time for a new beginning to start very, very quickly, but that cannot happen until there is some type of resolution and there is some type of clarity because, again, decisions are going to need to be made about how to best enact your soul plan, how to carry out your divine calling for some how to carry out a soul contract how to what is a soul contract that like i guess i'm trying to know like what is it about this that needs to be figured out now or like what it, this entails um yeah no you know 
flip it oh okay okay yeah the eight of swords reverse it's imperative that things start coming to light now because now is the time at a spiritual level now is time and some of you may have been feeling like that now is the time to finally get answers the five of wands in reverse okay the emperor in reverse okay aries energy showing up and the two of wands okay so there's more of that deliberation energy going on here there is you know in terms of what this is talking about there it is time for i feel for you my dear cancers to be moving into a lot more peace uh possibly a lot more flow to be potentially moving a lot more into um like almost like a feminine energy where you like you're you're a lot more receptive you're not having to make things happen you're able to just kind of like um you might have like a sense of like lessened spiritual responsibility like um it's hard for me to figure out how to put this into words like you don't have to fight all the time it's, it's just yeah um but in terms of what this next stage entails it's it's gonna be i do feel like you're gonna be making decisions you're going to be making like firm decisions and these are important decisions in your life right um these are you know you're going to be kind of calling the shots when it comes to your life choices um, and so there's a sense here of needing to, and I feel like a lot of you intuitively know this, you're drawn to certain paths, but this needs to get wrapped up and resolved. Clarity needs to come in, um, in order for you and like emotional restoration needs to come in in order for you to be able to let this cycle resolve and have a better sense of clarity about where you want to go on the path moving forward. For some of you, this new beginning will start around fall of this year, um, and like end of summer, early fall. And so this, whatever this is, this has been something that's been weighing on you for a while. Um, and it's kind of like, you know, I want to move, but I want to make sure my family is in a good space first. Like, I want to move, but like, um, you know, my partner and I don't know where to move. We keep fighting about it. Um, some of you want to embark on a journey of parenthood. And there's a sense here of like wanting to get greater clarity and answers either from a current partner or about what that would, you know, what parenthood means for you um, maybe you guys are like trying to resolve relationships with parents but I do see that there's a big there's a big journey that is up ahead and it requires that this cycle be wrapped up first in order to give you the information and insight you need to be making decisions about what how you best want to live out your human experience um, and, and I feel you're consulting often with your guides, like I said, in the astral about how best to serve out, like serve your soul plan, your soul's mission. And that's why this is coming to light now, because it, it's now time, you know, this information may have been, you know, it's like two other people working something out, or it's like, um, this information it may have been somebody trying to work it out on their own. I almost could pick up this energy that whoever else is involved they were working through it on their own, but it was taking them, they were moving at a snail's pace. It was taking them a while. They might not be as spiritually advanced as you or other people involved in the situation because there could be multiple, this also could be the thing, there could be multiple influences here and it could be very, very complicated, right? And so there's a sense here where it was, it's, it's taken a while to get to this place. And I feel that this is not necessarily expedited, but there is extra help and support, again, particularly psychically in the astral realm, um, there is extra help and support um, in order to help really like, again, because this is the lucky, abundant, expansive energy to help facilitate uh, a healing, a clarity and a closure um, cycle in this situation, because it's time for you to be moving forward into a new a new mission, essentially. So that's everything I've got for cancer today. I hope that really helped. Um, you'll have to come back and let me know how this beautiful healing took place. Um, but yeah, I hope that you have a safe, happy, healthy month ahead. Um, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye.